selection of flat belts from manuf manufacturer's catalog. Myself, Professor Kushare, Mechanical Engineering Department, Kikivag Institute of Engineering Education and Research, Nasik. How to select the belt or flat belt for a given application from manufacturer's catalog depends upon number of factors. The important factors are power to be transmitted, input and output speed, space available, that is center distance, load condition, service condition, or position of the shafts or shaft layouts, space available, or reduction ratio. These are the important factors to be considered while selecting belt from manufacturer's catalog. Now here, number of eight steps are involved here while selecting the flat belt from manufacturer's catalog. We are not designing belt here. We are selecting from the catalog. Now I am referring Vivi Bandari's book and in this book, Dunlop Manufacturing Companies catalog or data which is given, I have referred the same. Now here in first step, the optimum belt velocity is in the range of 17.8 to 22.9 meter per second is given. But actually, belt drives are classified based on this velocity, light drives, medium drives, heavy drives. Light drives are used to transmit small powers at belt speeds up to 10 meter per second and generally you will find the application of such a light drives in agriculture machines and small machine tools. Medium drives are used to transmit medium powers at belt speed over 10 meter per second but up to 22 meter per second and you will find application in machine tools and heavy drives which transmit large power at belt speeds about 22 meter per second but here in Dunlop's catalog optimum belt velocity is taken 17.8 to 22.9 meter per second therefore before starting we have to assume the belt velocity in the same range assuming some value above 17.8 and less than 22.9 maybe 18 maybe 19 or 20 this is first step assume belt velocity second Based on this velocity, calculate the smaller pulley diameter. You know one is the driving pulley, another one is the trimum pulley in case of flat belt. Whether it's a open and cross, I am talking about the open belt drive. Now we are how to find out this smaller pulley diameter. The V is equal to pi dm by 60 into 10 raised to 3. Therefore D is equal to 60 in bracket 1000 into V upon pi n. Where n is the input speed or RPM of the smaller pulley. By using this expression, we can find out the diameter we can find out the diameter of the smaller pulley or driving pulley then after getting this value and v which is assumed here in between 17.8 so we can easily calculate small d then diameter of the bigger pulley that is capital d can be calculated by using this expression that is capital d by small d is equal to input speed upon output speed so already we have calculated you can substitute here and we know the input and output speed you will get the outer or larger diameter or bigger pulley diameter that is capital D then step number two after calculating smaller diameter of the pulley and larger diameter of the bigger pulley then what we have to do in catalog the preferred diameters are given for cast iron and mild steel pulleys or pulleys are made up of this material and these values are 100, 112 up to 1000. After calculating the smaller pulley diameter and bigger pulley diameter, we have to select the appropriate value nearer to these values. This is preferred diameter. That means suppose your calculated value is 98 point something for smaller pulley, so you can select 100. If your bigger pulley diameter is 470 the nearer is nearer value is 500 that means capital D should be 500 that means we are going to change calculated diameter of the pulley to preferred pulley diameters by using this chart after that if diameter is changed for smaller as well as the larger pulley that means belt velocity is also going to change because V is equal to pi dn by 60 D is going to change 
therefore based on this prepared diameters determine the correct belt velocity and after that check this belt velocity whether it is in the range of optimum belt velocity and optimum belt velocity is in the range of 18 point something to up to 22 point it should be within the range that we have to check out in step number 2 then step number 3 in step number 3 we are going to calculate here maximum power transmitted by the belt and how to find out it this maximum power is obtained by multiplying load correction factor to the rated power this kw is the actual power transmitted by the belt in given application it may be given your in problem statement or while selecting the belt you have to decide how much is the actual power to be transmitted and this power is multiplied by load correction factor so we can easily obtain the value of k max now here this load correction factor depends on the different types of load or loading condition we will see here now here we have to select the value of load correction factor how to select this load correction factor the for that purpose the table is provided for different loads suppose if belt we are going to use for normal load condition then ap is equal to 1 for steady load it should be 1.2 in steady load you will find different applications centrifugal pumps pans light machine tools conveyors then intermittent loads heavy duty pans blowers compressor reciprocating pumps line shafts heavy duty machines then ap is equal to 1.3 for shock loads it should be 1.5 based on the different load condition we can select the value of ap and by using this ap we can find out the we can find out the maximum power transmitted by the belt then next step in step number four what we have to do we have to calculate the angle of wrap for the smaller pulley now here for smaller pulley angle of wrap is alpha s is equal to 180 minus actually 2 alpha where this alpha is equal to sine inverse of capital d minus small d upon 2c this is applicable to open belt drive if it's a cost bed dive you will get alpha s is equal to 180 plus 2 alpha and alpha means sine inverse of capital d plus d by 2 c c is the center distance capital d is the larger pulley diameter and small d is the smaller pulley diameter this equation is applicable to open belt drive now again here find out the arc of contact factor based on this angle of wrap angle of wrap means the contact between the pulley and the belt generally you will find in certain application when the pulley diameter that is input pulley and output pulley is same so you will get angle of wrap 180 degree for smaller pulley as well as the larger pulley but or another pulley but that time the pulley diameter of driving and driven both are same but in some application you will find this angle of angle of wrap varies it is in between 120 to 200 it's not 180 and because of that we have to take into account the arc of contact factor and for different wrap angles the arc of contact factors are given in the catalog from by using this or referring this table we can easily find out the value of efd based on the angle of wrap after calculating this we can select the value of efd from this table available in catalog then what we have to do calculate the corrected power Corrected power means again K max already calculated by using the correct load correction factor. The K max into FD, FD is the arc of contact factor, you will get the KW that is corrected power. Then in step number 5, what we have to do? We have to find out the corrected power rating, but it is based on which type of belt we are going to select. Now we are in Dunlop manufacturing catalog, there are two belts, one is the high speed belt, generally these belts are generally preferred for different applications and another type of belt is Ford belt, this belt is preferred for heavy duty applications and there corrected ratings for a high speed belt is given corrected power rating that is 0.0118 into V upon 5.08. And for four belt, corrected power rating or kilowatt rating is given 0 0.0147 into V upon 508. 
but here this support belt is generally paper for humidity application and high speed belt for general purpose application if in the problem statement while selecting the belt you don't know the application the select general belt that is high speed belt now again here the v is the correct belt velocity based on the paper pulley diameter that already calculated in step number 2 and 3 then power transmission capacities of port as well as the high speed belts are given that means 0.0118 kilowatt per mm 1 mm width per ply and for port belt it is 1.147 kilowatt per mm width per ply then in step number 6 determine the product that is width into number of plies by dividing the corrected power by the corrected kilowatt rating of the belt now here we can use this expression corrected power upon corrected belt rating the corrected belt rating we will get this value from the high speed or a port belting and corrected power we will get this value from this k max into fd now by using this expression we can find out width into number of width into number of plies but again what we have to do to find out of find out the width of the ply we have to assume number of plies number of plies assuming suitable number of plies we can easily find out the width once you know the number of plies 2 3 then corrected power is known all data or all values are known so we can find out the width and again here for assume value of ply suppose 3 ply 4 ply 5 ply 6 ply different values of widths are given nearer to that value we have to take from this that means depends on number of ply width is going to vary width is going to vary by using this standard widths for different plies we can take the nearer value of the width and last step selection of plant belt drive from manufacturer catalog calculate the belt length now here expression is given for open belt drive that is l is equal to 2c plus pi d plus small d by 2 plus capital d minus small d bracket square by 4c where say c is the center distance capital d is the larger pulley diameter small d is the smaller pulley diameter this is applicable to open belt drive if you would like to find out the length for cross belt drive then this expression is going to change and is only small modification instead of this minus sign there is a positive sign or plus sign the l then for cross belt drive l belt length becomes l is equal to 2c plus pi in bracket d plus small d bracket complete by 2 up to this term it remains same plus capital d minus instead of minus here plus small d bracket complete square by 4c the this is applicable for cross belt drive only here we have to change instead of minus sign plus sign then at the final we have to write the specification of the belt for that purpose the length of the belt that we have to write in meter already calculated based on the whether open or cross belt then mm width already calculated in step number 7 width of the belt multiplied by number of plies now here number of plies that we have assume for the belt specification or belt selection that we have to write and whether it's a high speed belting that means for general purpose application or a port belting for heavy duty application suppose high speed belting is considered the in this case belt specification is 5 meter length of suppose 40 mm width and three ply is high speed belting this is the final specification for belt i have referred some of the expressions from vi vandari's book design of machine elements megroil publication if you have any query contact me at whatsapp number 9890426679 or pvkushare@kkwork.edu.in
in. Thank you.